Does semen retention make a man less masculine? This is the topic of today's video because I feel like it's important to discuss all areas of the misconceptions of semen retention because there is a lot of them. And I think for the men watching today's video, it's great to have your awareness set upon what is your definition of masculinity and how do you feel like semen retention will impact your life? This is truly what I want to, to get at in this video, is that masculinity is something that is really true to the men who choose to walk down the path of integrity. Integrity to yourself is staying intact with spirit, the spirit that moves you and guides you to your highest good. So when you participate in semen retention and you're doing it for the intention to gain maybe control over your sexual urges or to have enough energy towards a future that you're proud of living and you're done with uh, having sex with random people because you maybe have experienced how unfulfilling it is. Well, these are all reasons of what it means to be masculine. When you think of it, you guys, semen retention is great Semen retention is a great place to start for any man who feels lost, who feels like he doesn't have a purpose, who feels like he's done with the dating scene because he's either been hurt too many times or bad experiences or there's addictions taking over his life and he's numbed out. What semen retention does, it allows you to break the ice that's been formed by your unawareness to what you do. When you are unaware, you are not shining your light on the areas that perhaps have turned to ice. And when things turn to ice, there's no movement. You're stuck, you're frozen. And semen retention boils your energy, it produces the heat to melt actually all obscurities that perhaps you may have believed in or just habits of the past. Now, for me, masculinity and semen retention do come hand in hand. I'm not saying prolonged semen retention makes a man more masculine. No. But what I'm getting at is when a man actually declares to practice semen retention when he's in a phase of his life where it's no better time to start, maybe you're single, maybe you're in a relationship, or maybe there's just some area of your life that is needing more of your energy, more of your dedication. You showing yourself the dedication through having willpower, willpower over your sexual energy. Now listen, you guys, one misconception I need to note is that sexual energy is not wrong. Your sexual desires are not necessarily a wrong thing. What makes it wrong is the after effects of what you do after you partake in busting your seed. How does it make you feel? Now, I can tell you this, any man who watches porn on a continual basis does not feel masculine. Now, why would a man feel masculine watching a man and a woman or whatever type of stuff you watch on a screen? That's not respectable to yourself. The man within you does not respect that. Then what is respecting that? Why are you going back onto these things? Why are you still partaking in sex with random women? Why are you unfulfilled? Well, we just wrote out that equation. You're not aware of what you are doing. You are allowing your unconscious to take over your habits that lead you down a path of comfortability. Now, a man actually prospers within uncomfortability. That's where he gets to shine. That's when he can look uncomfortability in the eye and keep going, keep pushing forward, allowing his awareness to inhabit his body, to be aware of where the sexual urge lies. A lot of people just get horny and then the next thing you know, they're in their bed and uh, they got a puddle on their chest or whatever, and then they feel shame and guilt. A man doesn't need to feel that way. A man needs to feel his integrity in every single thing he does. And your body will let you know when it's not there. It'll let you know that it's not there when you don't feel like a man, when you don't feel respected. And maybe perhaps when you look in the mirror and you don't like what you see. Why would you like what you see when you participate in everything that is creating dysfunction within and maybe in your external world as well? Now back to my main question, you guys, does semen retention make a man less masculine? Well, in today's society, our culture, it really does promote the more people you sleep with. For a man, you're more respected and for a woman, you're more empowered. 
And I really hate to see this be a part of today's programming that's allowing our young children to even have this idea of a man who sleeps with tons of girls is like worthy and is highly respectable is like the top chain of man and then a woman who's sexually liberated shakes her ass shows her tits you know does all of this wild stuff where it's just broadcasting promiscuity as normal this is creating a lot of dysfunction just within not only yourself and the way that you perceive how you should be, but it's not allowing you to actually question the things you do. It's normal in today's culture for a man to watch porn. And if a man has porn addiction, it's like, get over yourself. It doesn't matter. You're watching porn. You're a man. Not actually understanding the implications that have become out of a society that is actually profiting off of sexuality. And what's being profited within is our soul. And this is something that semen retention will allow a man to actually meet. Not a lot of people actually know what it means or feels like to meet their soul. And within semen retention, you gain so much energy and dedication and determination and courage to actually face yourself in a way that a lot of men will never be able to face themselves through control willpower over your sexual urges now this is probably very intense for a man can i say it is well i'm not a man so i'm not going to put words in your guys's mouth but i'm sure they're very intense these urges that come up but your ability to actually harness enough awareness over the very things you participate in and redirect that energy towards a purpose, towards creation, and actually giving your seed, the energy of your seed to something that you can manifest by having enough willpower to direct the energy towards something else than a short-term fulfillment, you will actually allow yourself to gain so much confidence within yourself. The confidence that you can show up for yourself every day. You don't need a woman to nut in to feel like a man. What you need is to gain the relationship that everyone needs to gain. It's to themselves. It's to understanding yourself. And a lot of people are walking around like the walking dead. Why are people walking around like the walking dead? Because they're depleted. Depleted on so many levels. And it doesn't even have to be through your sexual energy, you guys. It could be the overstimulation of today's society. Taking people's energy and then leaving them with depletion. People are tired without even knowing they're tired. And I want the men in today's culture to think about semen retention. I think every man would benefit from doing semen retention, even if it's just once in his life. I don't think a man needs to prolong this journey. Um, you know, I think it's really important to gain a positive relationship to your sexual energy. So then when you are actually in a relationship with a woman, you can take the knowledge you learned from self mastery within your sexual energy when you were by yourself. And then to actually have a sexual interaction with a person or woman you love, you will have a different narrative of what sex is. It's actually a way for a man and a woman to charge charged to a higher power when we have sex and we have conscious sex it's not something to be sh ashamed of it's something to be uh actually celebrated within you and your partner for being able to partake in the act of sex in a very conscious way a lot of people don't know what that even is they've never felt that in their body and that's a shame and that happens when you actually have respect not only for yourself but the person you're sleeping with and I really hope the people you sleep with are people you know, not someone that you took home after a first date. Um, these have implications on a man. It, they really do. Uh, how? You're distracted. You're distracted by a woman. And it's okay to have a woman in your life, but make sure that woman is offering something to you. That's a huge part within masculine men, their ability to discern the right woman. Because when a man has and allows a woman into his life that is not allowing him to serve his purpose, a man will be miserable. And then a man will probably go back to old patterns of needing a sexual stimulation to feel alive for a second or a minute. So my final answer to the question, does semen retention make a man less masculine? That statement is wrong, I believe. 
I believe a man who actually has determination and has the ability to have awareness over maybe this phase in his life of needing to progress in a way that will showcase to himself that he is the master of his reality and he is able to actually use the beast and the beast is the urges, the sexual urges that take control over you. But you actually rewrite that narrative and you don't allow anything inside of you to take a hold of you. You are the observer. You have a choice and you also have the choice to live out your highest purpose and your highest purpose is not the continual act of depletion, but it's gaining and charging your energy centers in order for you to actually be receptive to new ideas, intelligence, discernment, like I've been saying, integrity, being intact, actually feeling into your integrity and knowing what that is. It's a path of discovery, a discovery of so many levels of what it means to be a man. And let me end on this. It is not highly respectable if a man has no self-control or sleeps around with multiple women to fulfill a need that he has not met within himself. It's not attractive. A good woman would not respect a man who does that. So I'm going to end on that. Continue embracing your masculinity by returning back to vulnerability. Now within vulnerability with yourself and with others, you are able to actually build strength by being honest about where you're at, what you are doing, but as well having the determination to change anything that is no longer in alignment. Semen retention will build your energy. It will allow yourself to actually vibrate higher and perhaps attract to you whatever it is you're desiring. If you have that intention, of course. So I hope today's video answered some questions. I really appreciate you guys and I appreciate the men who are open to semen retention because you're allowing yourself to see your own strength, your own willpower, and you can apply what you've learned from semen retention into every other area of your life. And before I end today's video, I want to let you guys know that I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for anyone with further questions about semen retention or just overcoming any self-depleting habits having someone to hold you accountable and that wants to see change in their lives. So my email is down below. I really hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, hit the like button, press the subscribe button if you're still here, why not? And I will see you in my next one. Bye.